Hey, welcome back to the Black Gauntlet Tavern. We're making DIY solutions to make our over-the-top tabletop room even more outrageous. So during the holidays, one of my players made me this absolutely delightful and whimsical, whimsical mushroom scene. And looking at it, I was like, this is so cool. It looks so cool in front of my DM screen. This People should make this. So let's take a look at how we're going to make this. It's super easy. It'll take 30 minutes maybe. Um, it's super simple. So let's get right to it. First thing we're going to need to do is look at our materials. I bought some string lights at my local craft store, but they're available at any department store as well. These are also called fairy lights if you're looking for them or copper string lights. Next up, I have some of the extra moss from detailing the dungeon itself. And I also have a log. Now, normally I would go and tell you to go find one in the woods, but I live in a city and therefore I am deathly afraid of getting any kind of bugs in my house. So I went to my local home improvement store and I was able to find cedar logs for $15 and now I can use this for the project and have a nice fire later. As for tools, we're gonna need a hot glue gun, very five minute crafts of us, as well as a drill, which will make things easier to place the stalks of these mushrooms. Now I've trimmed down the log to a nice eight inch size, which is nice and desktop and portable. And what I really wanna do is make this easier to sit on a desk or a table. So I'll just give it one of these. And there we go. Not bad. That'll sit nice and flat. Now, first thing, we're gonna get our hot glue gun heated up and loaded up. And I'm gonna grab a slice of parchment paper that's almost square and just lay it out. And what we're gonna do is just crank a bunch of this plastic glue onto them so that it'll settle into a puddle, which will look like our mushroom caps. Gonna keep a couple of extra glue sticks on hand because they do go fast. The process for this is gonna take a few minutes to get used to. Trying to figure out how to make these settle evenly but you get the hang of it pretty quickly. And we're using the parchment paper, that way they can come off easier because it won't stick to it. And you can see the first couple that I did didn't come out great, but I got the hang of it. Next step is gonna be putting in the mushroom stalks. And I'm gonna use my trusty drill here to help me plan out where they're gonna go. Cause what we're gonna do is take the string lights and place them accordingly, but they'll stand better if we put them in small holes. Now taking a look at our lights, we can unstring the string lights. And what I'm gonna do is since these are almost bare copper wire, they have a, they have a bit of a coating on them, so it's not just bare wire, you won't get electrocuted. <laughs> but I'm going to bend these into stalks and then kind of drive them down into the holes and create these little bushels of mushrooms popping out. It's worth noting that also as you place these in the holes, a little bit of hot glue can be used to help keep them in place. Once everything's placed right where you want it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hot glue and I'm just gonna follow up each one of the stalks just to give it a little bit of coverage and it'll dry nice and smooth as it settles and it'll look like a nice natural mushroom stalk. And here's our result. It doesn't look great, I will admit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dried moss that we had left over from the dungeon and glue that on to cover all the wires that go across and make the stalks link and then we're gonna hide them like that. Once everything's settled just the way you like it, now we can take those mushroom caps we made at the beginning of the video and we can start selecting our favorites, our sizes, where they're gonna go, and then just pop them right on top with a little bit of help from the hot glue gun. And that's it. 
Now I ran out of moss and I ended up redoing some of the mushroom caps because I really didn't like how they came out. But you could go a lot of ways with this and make something really cool. But let's turn the lights off and see how it looks. Nice. This is looking pretty cool. So I'm just gonna play with some of my toys now. So that's pretty much it. This is like a 30 minute project you could do in an afternoon as long as you can chop your log or find a stick, doesn't matter. Um, I think that in comparison, mine's a little less cool, but if I put these together, I have like a, a nice little forest for the players to, to walk through. And I'm probably gonna use this for my war cry terrain as you saw me play with my toys, so. Maybe it's a little chewy. I think it looks cool. You can be the judge. Uh, subscribe for more stuff. I don't know. Thanks for watching.